Today we're taking a look at the Geekom Air 12 Mini PC. Thanks to Geekom for sending this one over for us to take a look at. The Air 12 is a super slim mini PC that features the updated Intel N150 Alder Lake processor. The N150 keeps the four cores that the N100 had without hyper-threading, but we are getting a higher max turbo frequency. This chip can hit 3.6 GHz versus 3.4 on the N100. Additionally, the iGPU is beefed up a little bit in the N150. The N100 maxed out at about 750 MHz, and the N150 can hit 1000 MHz as long as you update to the latest Intel drivers. Adding these small improvements up definitely makes for a more efficient overall CPU, which can definitely help for light desktop usage, or if you're running this as some kind of hypervisor for Docker containers, or if you're looking for your next Plex server. Any performance improvement with minimal power consumption is definitely welcomed. The Air 12 package here has some really good connectivity in my opinion. On the front side, we're looking at one USB Type-C port for data only, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, and a combined 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Of course, there is a power button, and it actually has a decent click for being so small. On the side, we do have that SD card reader, which is kind of neat. And then on the back side, we have a mini DisplayPort 1.4 video output that does support 8K 30 Hertz. We've got a one gigabit per second ethernet port, another two USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, and an HDMI 2.0 port supporting 4K at 60 Hz. We've also got another USB Type-C port that does feature DisplayPort 1.4 mode support. Definitely nifty to have. This Air 12, like most of the Geekom PCs, support that Kensington lock as well if you need to put this guy somewhere where it can't walk away. With all these video outputs, this mini PC would definitely make a nice little client to power something like a digital signage display if you're not using it as some type of home server or web browsing machine. You're getting all of this in a relatively small package. We're looking at 117 millimeters by 112 millimeters by just 34.2 millimeters tall, which like I said, is super thin. And if you need to chuck this mini PC behind an entertainment center or a TV or display or something, that is definitely going to come in handy. This mini PC does come with VESA mounting support and you do get this included backplate or mounting plate, which is kind of nice. You can mount this on a wall, on the back side of any VESA display or VESA mount, or even on the underside of a desk, which is kind of a neat idea. The Air 12 does support Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 using the Azureware AWXM548NF wireless module. I don't know a ton about that one, I just know it's basically not an Intel card. As for the expandability for this mini PC, the platform does kind of limit us in terms of what Intel actually supports. We're looking at one DIMM channel, which Geekom did preload this particular PC with a 16 gig DDR5 4800 SO DIMM, and we have one M.2 port that supports either a SATA SSD or a PCI Express NVMe drive. It does run at PCI Express 3.0 times 4 speed. My Air 12 shipped with a 512 gigabyte PCI Express NVMe solid state drive, but you could expand this up to two terabytes if you needed. The Air 12 is of course shipping to us with Windows 11 installed, which it is pro by the way, and mine was on 24H2. Very nice to see that it was up to date and also a pro key. But as always, I would recommend doing updates as soon as you unbox and connect this to the internet. As for the performance of the N150, well, it's a 6 watt TDP chip, so I definitely wanted to see how this would run in Cinebench, 3 d Mark. Geekbench, and maybe some SSD testing. I've never actually tested one of these four-core Alder Lake chips, so I was very curious. For the multi-core Cinebench R23 scores, the Air 12 averaged 2,385 points, with the single-core average coming in at about 930 points, which in my opinion is really not bad for about 23 watts maximum power draw during the multi-core test. That was measured at the wall with my kilowatt meter. Looking at the Night Raid benchmark, the system averaged about 5,564 points overall, 3,122 points for the CPU score, and about 6,456 points for the GPU. This really isn't too bad for a chip like this. You're definitely not going to be doing any AAA gaming on it, but 
One thing to keep in mind is you can leverage the Steam in-home streaming or something like Moonlight, I think, on Linux, and you can actually play games from a different PC on this workstation. You could put this in an entertainment center, like I said, blow your TV, utilize Steam, and play all of your AAA games at super high frame rates, whatever your main desktop will actually support. Kind of neat. Anyways, as for the Geekbench 6 benchmark results, we're looking at a multi-core score of about 3,220 points, with a single core score coming in at about 1,216 points on average. For the configuration that Geekcom sent over, I had a 512 gig NVMe SSD, and I ran that through Crystal Disk Mark 8. My testing was conducted with the drive filled at about 23%, which I think is pretty realistic. The average sequential read speeds were about 3,201 megabytes per second, with the average sequential write speeds being about 2,299 megabytes per second. Overall, I would say the Air 12 is definitely a solid little mini PC that is not going to break the bank. If you're just looking for some kind of basic web browsing machine or a mini PC to power up a display, something like a digital signage display or whatever you got, or if you want to run this as a media server leveraging Plex or MB, this is definitely going to be the type of system that you want to look at. The N150 is a very powerful and capable CPU and iGPU combination for media servers. You should be able to load at least a couple of 4K transcodes simultaneously with this iGPU. And like I said, you're getting all of that in a very nice and small package. The power efficiency is quite good on this. In idle for Windows 11 Pro, I was looking at about 18, maybe 19 watts installed connected to the internet. And then when I ran the Cinebench testing, I didn't really see the power meter exceed about 23 watts, which is pretty interesting and definitely means this is really packing a punch per watt. While this does have a lower total thread count, you could actually use this as some kind of Docker virtualization machine. Just keep in mind, you only have four threads. That being said, you can definitely get this PC at kind of a steal. At the time of making this video, the Air 12 is coming in at just $200 on Amazon and Geekcom's website. In my opinion, that's a pretty good price for what you're getting here. As for the Geekcom brand, they've been in business for, I think, over 20 years now. I've actually tested a couple of the Geekcom mini PCs before, and I found them to be super well built, relatively easy to upgrade and maintain, which I definitely like. Dust is definitely going to get sucked into these, just like any other PC or laptop. You gotta clean them out. It's super easy to actually take apart. The feet are always the screws and Geekcom generally warranties their PCs for three to five years. This one in particular has a three-year warranty. So if you're looking to learn more about the Air 12 or take a look at some of the higher-end mini PCs that Geekcom offers, I'll leave a couple of affiliate links in the description below, so definitely head down there and check that out. If you got any value out of this one, definitely go ahead and drop a like on the video and maybe share it with a friend who's mildly curious about nifty little mini PCs. If you're looking for gaming PC content, or the occasional home lab video, consider getting subscribed to the channel and ringing that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on computing.